day number two of this 21 day girl challenge. Today we are targeting legs and abs. I don't know about you, but I definitely feel the workout from yesterday and I'm so excited to crush this one today. Let's get started by warming up a little bit of our core, but especially the low body in a bridge. We do have three rounds of bridges at the end, I'm just warning you for right now, but it, this is a really good way to warm up our entire body, but especially the legs. So feet about six inches apart, your toes are facing forward, let's bring our arms by the side of the body. When you lift your hips up, we want to make sure everything's in one straight line, keep the shoulder blades down on your mat, draw the lower belly in, squeeze the glutes together. So a good way to check in to make sure you're not coming up too, too high without lifting your head. You can still see your kneecaps visible. All right, so drawing the lower belly in, neutral spine. We are gonna just do a one minute bridge, quick and easy. Let's warm up our body in three, in two, in one. Let's go up and lower. We go up and down, up and down. Good, up and lower, up and lower, really squeezing at the top. Now, if I'm going too fast or too slow, really going at your own pace here. Make sure you're drawing the lower belly in, maintaining your neutral spine. You're not overarching or over tucking the low back, pressing down into your palms, squeezing at the top, making sure your knees are not coming in and out. Let's stabilize them by also firing up our inner thighs, maybe inhaling our arms up towards the ceiling. We're just gonna do a 10 second pulse in five, four, three, two, one, keep the hips up, pulse it for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, three, two, and one, lower down, bring your knees in towards the chest, and now we're ready to do our workout. All right, so as I mentioned before, we are doing legs and core. So we're gonna warm up our core. We're gonna do a little core exercise here. This is actually probably my favorite core workout. It's our eagle crunches. If you've never done them before, we're gonna cross the right arm underneath the left. You have the choice to just grab onto your shoulders or finding the bind. And it's gonna be the same thing. Right leg crosses over left. Either keep them crossed like so or tuck the toes behind behind the calf muscle. Now for this one, you're gonna bring your knees and your elbows together, and then you're gonna bring them apart, trying to tap your toes down towards the mat as far away from the glutes as possible. If you can, you're tapping your fingers as well. You're exhaling on the crunch, inhaling as you bring them apart to really target your entire core. 20 seconds, 10 seconds. You're just gonna hold here. Try your best to lift the shoulder blades up, knees and elbows together before we do the same thing. Same bind going into your eagle crunches. Three rounds. Now if it gets too much for your head, know that you can bring your hands behind your head and you can give me your eagle crunch, really trying to bring elbows and knees together. After the three sets are done, we're gonna bring our feet down towards the mat. You're just gonna give me three rounds of normal crunches, bringing the shoulder blades up and down, 20 seconds with a 10 second pulse. After those three rounds are done, we're gonna switch and do our eagle crunches on the other side. Every single time I do my eagle crunches, I feel them the next day. It's such a great exercise. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get started here, getting ready for your eagle crunches in three, in two, in one, remember right arm crosses underneath the left, right leg crosses over left, bringing it together and then apart. So you're exhaling on the crunch, inhaling as you bring it apart. You have your hold coming up in three, two, one, hold 10 seconds. Remember, you can support your head with your hands. Lift the shoulder blades up just a little bit higher. You have three, two, one. You don't have to go very fast. The more control you have in this movement, the more you're really engaging your breath as well. So exhaling on the crunch, inhaling as you bring it apart, really controlling the movement in three, two, one, you're holding for 10 seconds. So I don't know about you guys, definitely already feeling the burn. My head's getting a bit heavy, so you can support your head right here. You have your final round on the side in three, two, one, you bring it apart 
and then together. Remember, if it's too much for your head, you can support your head with your hands. Good. Breathing through it. You're almost there. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one right away feet down you go down and up so you're going into your normal crunches i like to do this as an active recovery but we're still working our upper and middle core which is giving our low core a bit of a break you have a pulse in three in two in one stay lifted and pulse 10 seconds so as we pulse lifting the shoulder blades up it's just a tiny movement here with the core you have three and two and one you come down and up Woo! down and up after these 21 days our core is going to be so strong it's gonna be awesome feeling good you have five four Three, two, one, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This is your final round of your normal crunches. Remember, you have your eagle crunches coming up on the opposite side. It's only three rounds. Where it's gonna be over before we know it. You just have 10 more seconds here. Maybe lifting the shoulder blades up just a bit higher every single time. You have your pulse in three, in two, in one. Pulse, this is the final pulse right here. Make it count. Lift your shoulder blades up a little bit higher for five, four, three, two, one. Left arm swings underneath the right. Left leg crosses over right away. You bring it together and then apart. Try to tap your toes further away from your glutes to really engage the lower core. Breathing through this. All right, you have a hold in three, in two, in one. You hold right here. Remember, you can bring your head cradle your head and your hands. You can skip the holds if it's too much. Three, two, one. I really want you to remember that this is your workout. I really want to make sure that we're doing this in a healthy way. If you need to take a second, take a pause, please do that. You can pause the video and then you can come back when you're ready. Good. All right. You have that hold in three, in two, in one. Hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This is it. Final, final time here. Make it count. <sighs> really linking the breath with the movement. As you bring your feet down, you're targeting the lower core. As you crunch together, really activating upper, middle core. You have three, you have two, you have one. Final 10 seconds, stay with it. Give it a try, breathe through it. Come up a little bit higher for five, for four, for three, two, one. Let that go. I think we deserve just a little bit of a stretch here. So let's come into our Cobra. Really stretching out the core. Good. Slowly standing up. We're gonna be working our legs now. We're gonna do entirely one leg with all of the exercises before we switch and we do the same thing on the opposite leg. So three different exercises, hit style, 20 seconds of a move with a 10 second active recovery. So we're gonna move into a side lunge to begin with. I'm gonna start with my right leg. So right leg steps out. You wanna make sure that your heels are in one line, your toes, they're facing forward. Forward. You sink down low, lift the chest, core is strong before you come right back. So you're going to do this, I really encourage you for a side lunge to go a bit slower than you probably want to, 20 seconds. Then we're going to stay down low, you're going to shift the weight towards the right leg as you tap the left foot in, out, in, out. You're going to come back after the 20 seconds is done before you repeat the same thing. So it's going to be three rounds of that. Continuing with the right leg, we're going to go into a lunge. You're going to step the leg back and in. Back. Now when you come back, really make sure chest is lifted, core is strong in this lunge position, 20 seconds. Then we're going to hold down and you're going to pulse here for 10 seconds before you do the exact same thing. 
Then the final move we're gonna do is the move that we did in day number one, a step out squat because I can't get enough. You're gonna step out the leg about six inches apart, chest lifted, core is strong. Bring it back in again. It's the right leg that's gonna step out before you come back to center, lift the right heel up, give me a pulse for 10 seconds, and then bring the leg back, okay? We're gonna do all of that on the right leg. We're gonna do a little shake, and then we're going to do the opposite leg. So again, we're gonna start with those side lunges. I do encourage you to take it a bit slow. Alrighty, the clock is gonna get started in three, in two, in one. Step out squat, so coming down low, back to center. Step out squat, back to center. Again, with any of these exercises, you can absolutely use a weight, especially if you're gonna repeat them but I do find it pretty challenging right away. You have the taps in three, in two, in one, stay low, you tap in and out, in and out, good. In and out for three, for two, for one, coming back and side lunge. Good, this is your second round and we only have three rounds. Core is activated, chest is lifted, toes are pointing straight. You have those taps in three, in two, in one, stay low, tap 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stay lifted, Final, final round, you got this. Can you come down just a little bit lower in the side lunge? Core is strong and your breath is normal. You're not clenching your teeth or anything like that. The breath is flowing. You have those taps in three, in two, in one, stay low, tap for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one give yourself remember we have those lunges so it's going to be the right leg that steps back that lunges back in three in two in one let's lunge it back and center right leg back and in back and in good all right so remember we're gonna have those pulses you're gonna stay down low in five in four in three in two, in one, stay low, Whoa, pulse. Good, a little bit of a balance here. Core is strong, chest is lifted, just tiny pulses. In three, in two, in one, let's go. Step it back and then together. Back and together, good. You don't have to come super low, but maybe focus one spot ahead of you for balance instead of what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, you have a pulse in three, in two, in one, pulse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do you feel it yet? Because I certainly do. All righty, so good news. Final lunge here, especially with our lunges, if you deal with any sort of knee issues at all, you can always just give me another round of side lunges or some squats, whatever feels good for you for three, for two, for one, pulse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one, shake it out. We have our step out squats with the right leg, last one on this side, then we're gonna switch to the left leg. Stay with me, step out squats in three, in two, in one, let's do this. Stepping out, back together. As you come down low, chest is lifted, core is strong, and then meeting back in the center. Coming down as low as you can today, taking it easy. I always like to do these step out squats just a little bit slower than I want to. You have a pulse in three, in two, in one. Stay low if you can, you're lifting the right heel up as you pulse it's only 10 seconds not like yesterday where we held and pulsed three two one back to center good so I like to think because we 
worked pretty hard in the last two exercises, not saying that this isn't hard, but it's a little bit more like an active recovery in these step out squats. Three and two, in one, you pulse here, good. Just to still work that right leg, but we're also working both legs here. Good, three and two and one. Let's do this final time, feeling that burn, loving that burn, you got this. Amazing work. Thank you for joining me for day two of this 21 day challenge. I love a good challenge, so I'm happy you're here with me. Three and two and one, this is it. Let's pulse for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Please take this time to shake it out to grab a sip of water, you deserve it. You know exactly what's coming now. We are working our left legs. So we're gonna go into that left side lunge, really making sure when you're lunging down that your heels are in one line, that you're pointing your toes straight, that you're sinking your hips back. If you see me from the side, really shifting my weight forward, the glutes are pushing back. Draw the lower belly in, chest is up, your focus is ahead of you. Let's do this other side, you're almost there. Stay with me in three, in two, in one, step out, squat. So you don't necessarily have to step out very far away from you. Whatever feels good for you today. I love a good side lunge feels good, working hard. You have those taps coming up in three, two, one. Stay low and with the right foot, you tap in and out. Good. All that weight here is towards the left leg. Three and two and one. Come back, second round. Remember, we're only doing this three times. Remember to breathe. These hit style workouts, they really get us because we're really working to our maximum. We have that pulse or those taps in three, in two, in one, stay low. Let's tap for 10 seconds. Good, breathing through it. Woo, all right, three and two and one. This is it. How low can you go? So yes, those hitties hit style. That's why I really feel like I only need my body weight. But if you again want to use weights, please do so. I personally find it pretty challenging because we're doing those 20 seconds on with a 10 second active recovery. Three and two and one. Let's tap for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, ooh, and three two and one, give your leg a quick shake. Moving into our lunges on the left side, get ready for that in three, in two, in one. It's the left leg that steps back and then together, back and together. You're trying to bring your knee down as low as you can, Go as healthy as possible. Again, be aware of our knees. And again, if it's too much for your knees modification, just give me a step out squat, working our legs. Three and two and one. You're gonna pulse here. Pulse for 10 seconds. Can you lift your chest up higher? Draw the lower belly in for three, for two, for round one, two more rounds. Oh my goodness. Talking is difficult. <laughs> okay, so again, make sure that you're not clenching your teeth, you're not holding your breath at all. And if you want to take this super slow, please do that. You have a pulse in three, in two, in one, pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one final round final round maybe this time you're coming down a little bit lower lift your chest up on this side i'm really finding it hard to balance other lunges always are a little bit of a balance issue for me three and two and one final 10 second pulse can you come down just a little bit lower as you pulse for five for four for three 
for two, for one, let that go. Ooh. You know the drill, we have our step out squats, three rounds with the left leg, coming up in three, in two, in one. Let's do this, stepping out with the left leg this time, back to center, step out squat. Coming down low, I don't know about you, my heart rate is up right now, which is good. Every time you work our legs, that always happens to me really. Getting into a little bit of cardio as well. Three and two and one. You're gonna pulse for 10 seconds. Again, if you can, you're lifting the left heel up. You don't have to, but if you are, remember the weight is centered. Your core is strong for three, for two, for one, two more round. So just to let you know what's in store for the rest of your class, little core exercise, little hit core, and then don't forget we have those three rounds of bridges, really targeting our glutes, our legs. It's awesome. Three, two, one, pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, all we got. I love a last round. The last round, oops, feels so good because we're almost done. <laughs> I get a rush of extra motivation because we're at that finish line. Get ready for your final pulse. Make it count in three, two, one, stay low and pulse. Pulse, can you come down just a bit lower? Yes, breathe for five, four, three, two and one. Shake, shake, shake. High five. Good job. Let's come down towards our mat. Let's do another little hit core. So this time we're actually going to bring our legs up towards the ceiling. So lifting the legs up high, interlacing your hands behind your head. You're just going to bring the shoulder blades up and down. Now if at any point you feel any tension in your hips, just lower your feet down, give me some normal crunches. Now it's gonna be 20 seconds. If you want, you can also reach up towards your toes. I feel like my head gets really heavy when I do that, so I am gonna bring my hands behind my head. Then it's gonna be a 10 second pulse. 10 second pulse, or you can pulse with your arms up towards the ceiling. Then we're gonna work our lower core. So a couple options. If you feel up for the challenge, maybe you don't need any hands. You can just bring your arms or your hands rather behind your head. Maybe you need a little bit more support, bringing your arms by the side of the body or underneath your glutes. Now you can also keep the shoulder blades down towards the mat. Give it a try with the shoulder blades lifted. You're gonna bring the legs down, I'm already shaking, and up. All right, so really paying attention. If you're bringing your legs down so low that the low back begins to lift up off the mat, you're going a little bit too low. So you can keep your legs up a bit higher so that your, your lower back stays glued to your mat. It's gonna be a 20 second leg lift here with a 10 second flutter. So you're gonna flutter the legs all the way down, all the way back up before you go right back into your crunches. Alrighty, this is gonna be juicy. My abs are already kind of sore from our eagle crunches, but we're not gonna do as many rounds this time around. We're just gonna do two of each exercise, okay? So four rounds total. Let's do this, you got this in three, in two, in one. We're starting with those leg up crunches. So up and down, up and down. Whatever song you're listening to, you can always, you know, go up and down to the beat of a song, whatever motivates you. We have our crunches coming up in three, two, one. Stay lifted, pulse and pulse and pulse. Remember, you can be right here. You can have your feet down towards the mat if your hips are a little bit tense. You have three, you have two, you have one. We're going into our leg lifts, down and up. I like to take these a bit slower. Remember, you can have the shoulder blades down towards the mat as well. Let's really make sure that we're pressing the low back down towards our mat. You have five, four, three, two and one, you have a flutter. So flutter your legs all the way down, all the way back up. Breathe through this. Lower core is activated for three, for two, for one, legs up. We go up and down. Remember, this is the last time you're doing this. Final round, remember just two rounds of each exercise. 
All right, maybe lifting your shoulder blades up a bit higher for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Let's pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Leg lifts. This is it. If you have your shoulder blades up, maybe lift them up a bit higher. Maybe just giving it a try. You can always lower them down towards the mat. You have 10 more seconds. Lower core on fire. Good. Breathing through this. You have your flutters in three, in two, in one. Let's flutter all the way down, all the way back up. Breathe through the flutter. You have five, four, three, two, and one. This is it. Last thing that we're going to do is our three rounds of bridges. To end on a high note, we're really going to target our glutes, our legs, and we're going to get to it right away. Again, like we did at the beginning, we're going to start with our feet six inches apart, hip distance apart, bring the arms by the side. If you're listening to a really good song, Crank it up, maybe move your hips up and down. Otherwise, follow along with me. You're gonna get started in three, in two, in one. You go up and lower, up and down, up and down. Let's squeeze and hover, squeeze and hover. Breathe, exhale down, exhale down. Not here for too much longer. Core is strong. Really trying to squeeze your glutes, especially at the top. And if you don't need your hands to be pressed down towards the floor, you can always inhale them up towards the ceiling. We're going to keep our hips elevated and move our heels up and down in three, in two, in one, your hips stay up, your heels lift up, walk your toes just a bit closer towards the glutes in three, in two, in one, our heels go down and up, down and up, you got it, down and up down and up. So what I want you to pay attention is that you're not bringing your hips down towards the mat. You're keeping them elevated so you have that straight line. You're maintaining your neutral spine. You're squeezing the glutes together. Your core is strong. You have some pulses coming up. So you're going to keep your heels elevated. You're going to give me tiny little pulses in three, in two, in one. Stay lifted. Pulse the hips to the sky. We pulse and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. This isn't it though, okay? So we're just gonna reverse all of that. We're gonna go back to moving our heels up and down, and then we're gonna be going back to moving our hips up and down with our heels down towards the mat. So just the opposite movements from what we just did. So give me 10, and nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heels go down and up, down, and up. Good. Squeeze your glutes together. Control this movement. Your knees are not coming in and out. They're being stabilized because you're really firing up your inner thighs as well. All right, you just have a couple more here. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Heels down, your hips go down and up. This is where I really feel it. I feel the heat, especially when we bring our heels back down, or if you have your heels elevated and you go back to moving your hips up and down, back to this large range of motion. We just have one more move in this round of bridges. We're just gonna give me tiny little pulses up towards the ceiling in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's pulse our hips and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. All right, so I encourage you, can you bring your hips up just a little bit higher? Can you make your pulse just a bit smaller, okay? Let's pulse, and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze right away. Let's go into our second round. You probably guess what we're doing. We're going to do our wide legged bridges. So heel toe your feet out so that your feet are wider than your hips. Your toes are facing out. You have three and two and one. We go up and lower, up and down, 
up and down. Hover your glutes over the mat. We go up to a hover, up to a hover. Really squeezing your glutes at the top. We're not here for too much longer. We are going to go into your heel raises. That's going to come up in five, in four, in three, in two, in one, stay lifted, oh my goodness. So keep your hips elevated, move your heels down and up, down and up. My legs are shaking, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm right here with you guys. Up and down, up and down. It's always these heel raises that get me. It's the heel raises really working into your calf muscles while you do that. Draw the low belly in, squeeze your glutes together. You're going to keep your heels elevated. We're going to move our hips down and up in three, in two, in one. Heels up, hips down and up. Woo! Down and up down and up. All right. If it gets too much, it's, uh, it's, you can't even continue. I can't even talk. Um, you can always bring your heels down towards the mat. You can take a second as well. Don't worry about it. If you're doing this again, you know, you can see how much, uh, more you can do every single time. That's what's great about these online workouts. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to keep our hips elevated. You're going to move your knees in and out in three, two, one, hips up, knees in and out, in and out, in and out. See, you don't need weights to get a really good workout because I don't know about you, but my glutes are on fire right now. Just breathing through it, two more moves. Two more moves, we're going to pulse our knees more out than in, in three, in two, a1, pulse the knees, we go pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse. Good. Out and out and out and out. Remember, you can always bring your heels down towards the mat. You have a final pulse. We're going to pulse our hips up towards the ceiling in three, two, one. Let's do this. Pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse. You only have ten and nine, eight, seven. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, wow. Okay, let that go. Give yourself a quick hug. This is going to be your final one. We're going to keep our feet together. So your toes, your heels are touching in this one, and you're going to keep your legs as close together as you can. Maybe you'll notice that you can't lift your hips up quite as high, and that's okay. The goal is to keep your legs together so that you're really targeting your inner thighs. This is it, the final exercise of day two of this 21-day girl challenge. Let's crush it. Finish strong in three, in two, in one. Let's do this up and lower, up and down, up and down. Squeezing your glutes at the top, but really making sure that your knees are not coming apart. Let's keep them glued together as you go up and lower, up and lower. Core strong. All right. You have those heel raises coming up in three, in two, in one. Hips up. Lift your heels up. You go down and up, down and up. If you can, let's see if we can keep our heels together as we move our heel raises up and down. Can you keep your legs together? So inner thighs working a lot here in this variation with your feet together bridge. The next thing we're going to do, keep your heels up, move your hips down and up in three, two, one. We go down and up down and up. Start to notice if your heels have come apart. Try to keep them glued together. Are you keeping your legs together? Are you squeezing at the top as you go up and down, up and down? We're going to bring our knees in and out in three, in two, in one. Stay lifted out Woo! and in. <laughs> Did you hear my hip crack? 
Oh my goodness. Okay, in, you go out and in. Breathe out and in. Motivation, you're almost done your workout. Don't quit on me. You got this. I'm right here with you. Breathe through it. Out and in out and in. We're going to bring our legs back together. The final thing is we're going to pulse up towards the ceiling, inner thighs on fire, in three, in two, in one. Let's pulse it up and up and up. Feel the burn. Love the burn. You're almost there. You're working hard. I promise you're going to thank me later. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one you guys wow virtual high five as you crushed day two of your 21 day girl challenge i'm so proud of you and i can't wait to see you tomorrow for day three